Well, Honorable Jared Okello, so listening to this, of course, uh, your party leader has been out of the country. I understand that they came back yesterday. But also, what, it, it would appear that um, Uhuru Kenyatta has been quite instrumental in the campaign of Azimio Lomoja. And therefore, does that give credence to the allegations or the claims by Deputy President and the part of Kenya Kwanzaa that he's sort of interfering with the campaign? and that the, he should leave Raila Odinga and William Ruto to face each other? Well, I, I thank you very much again, Sam. Uh, nothing stops President Uhuru Kenyatta from campaigning uh, the Constitution in Article 38 on uh, political rights, uh, gives him the mandate to do so. And what he's doing, if he so chooses to be on the campaign trail, nothing stops uh, him. Uh, but I want us to step back a bit, uh, Sam, before I make a lot of clarification on the same. Uh -huh. You know, it is very interesting that when the deputy president is at Uhuru Kenyatta's backyard, then he changes tune. When he's away from Uhuru Kenyatta's region, he throws epithets at the president and, you know, with unprintable words certain times. And we all understand, Sam, that... Uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta is the best person to describe who Deputy President is. Right from 1997, I think, when Uhuru Kenyatta was um, nominated uh, through KANU into Parliament, they have always sat together with the Deputy President. The 2002 election, we know how they were very close, uh, conceding defeat together. And thereafter, these have been buddies ever since. We all know about the bromance that they shared uh, in 2013, 2017, mm -hmm. how they even donned similar pants and similar ties, you know, uh, akin to what President Obama's, uh, you know, dressing looked like then. So these are people who know each other. And for the president to come out to say that I know this guy and he will be the wrong one to give to the welfare of the country, as president of Kenya, we must listen. I mean, I don't know William Ruto that much. My friend Mora doesn't know Ruto that much. President Uhuru Kenyatta knows him better than any one of us, apart from probably his wife, uh, Rachel. So we cannot therefore say that the president is on a campaign trail to diminish uh, the, uh, the, the, the political, uh, you know, advancements of his deputy uh, to the detriment of the welfare of the country. No, it is the opposite. When we put our votes to a person whom the president supports, and president sits in a vantage position mm -hmm. to know what is best for the country, that is what we must follow. And, you know, the, the, the deputy president while in Mount Kenya is imploring upon the president to stop attacks on him. Now, and these things that the president knows about him, that he fears, will be revealed. These are questions we must ask ourselves. Uh, I know Deputy President is still benefiting from intelligence reports and all that. What are the intelligence pollings, uh, you know, polls as far as presidency is concerned or the next polls is concerned showing? Uh, he, he's so much afraid going forward that there are certain things that I believe he knows. Uh, that we are not aware of. Jared, Jared just to be sure, you say that um, the deputy president is receiving intelligence on polls? Well, you know, that the, we have the NIS uh, that carries out uh, certain, uh, you know, polling that uh, is never shared with the public. But I want to believe, I mean, he, he is still the deputy president. He has access. He knows he's losing. And that is why he is now <laughs> repeating <laughs> You think and he is getting so, this intelligence, or you know he's getting it? Well, I know he's getting it. He sits in the Security Council. I mean, that is where all these are discussed. So you cannot say that there are certain information that the president knows uh, as pertains our security uh, that the deputy president does not. And I have never had him resign as deputy president or resign from participating. The, the reason I'm asking you that, of course, mm -hmm. in the law, the deputy president is a member of the National Security Council, but he has been on record of being pushed out. So I don't know how practical what you're saying is at the moment. 